sve što sada imamo su samo prve procene. Dakle, vlada će već od sledeće nedelje verovatno srede poslati timove, u timovima će biti i naši strani eksperti, u timovima će biti inženjeri, da svaki onaj papir i svaku stvar koja je lokalna samuprava poslala, mi ćemo svaku stvar još jedan puta pogledati i proveriti i tek onda moći da govorimo o pravoj proceni štete nakon poplova. Prvo, kao što znate, mi ćemo sasvim sigurno koristiti Solidarity Fond od Evropske unije, takođe koristit ćemo izvršiti prenamenu određenih IPA projekata, ali mi imamo jedan kredit sa Svetskom bankom i BRD-om koji je namenjen rehabilitaciji puteva, ali u razgovoru sa predstavnicima Svetske banke i na tom razumevanju im neizmerno hvala, mi ćemo sasvim sigurno jedan deo kredita prenamenovati upravo za rehabilitaciju puteva, dakle na ono što je trenutno veoma važno. Šteta na putevima prvog, drugog reda, lokalnim putevima je oko 40 miliona evra. Dakle, mi ćemo raditi upravo prvo to kako bi Srbija već u oktobru mesecu mogla da kaže da je sve svoje probleme koje imao na lokalnim putevima i na državnim putevima rešila. Kao što znate, vlada Srbije čini sve i činit ćemo u narednom periodu kako bi što pre, što efikasnije krenuli u popravak svega što smo na kredu živjeli nakon ovih poplava. I ja sam danas ovde sa podpredsjednicom Svetske banke da vidimo naravno Brenovac, ali da nakon toga nastavimo razgovore o tome kojim putem i na koji način što brže, kao što sam rekla, i što efikasnije izaći iz svega što su nam poplave ostavile, ali isto tako da izvučemo i određene zaključke jer imamo iskustvo Sada, nažalost, ovako, šta treba da radimo i kako treba da se pripremamo u svim narednim godinama koje su ispred nas. Dakle, mi sada već znamo da je procenjena šteta za kritičnu infrastrukturu, energetsku, zatim telekomunikacijonu, železničku, putnu, negde, odnosno oko 260 miliona evra. Dobili smo od lokalnih zajednica, ali ne od svih i ne sve, što i razumljivo nismo mogli da dobijemo sve podatke od Brenovca, ali za sada je to blizu 200 miliona evra takođe šteta. Dakle, pred nama je jedan sada jednako težak period kao što je period koji smo prošli i mi hoćemo da učinimo zaista sve zajedno sa međunarodnim organizacijama, zajedno naravno i sa Evropskom unijom, da iz ovakvih problema izađemo. The World Bank is here to provide assistance that the government deems important. We've already um, put together a $150,000 grant to do a post-damage needs assessment at a national level, but also working here um, community by community to es uh, establish what the damage is and what the needs for rebuilding are. We are also uh, implementing emergency procedures that allow us to make money available immediately. As Deputy Prime Minister said, they can use funds that are in our road rehabilitation project already, uh, including expenditures that took place in the last few weeks. And we're prepared to uh, put together an emergency recovery loan that could be used for roads, other community infrastructure, power, necessary imports. Um, pretty much whatever the government decides is important. But as she just said, it's, it's good for the government to use as much grant money as it can first, and then the World Bank can step in to provide whatever else is needed on top of that. The, the road rehabilitation project that we already have with Serbia is $100 million. They can reallocate from within that, and they can use it immediately. Um, we can prevent. We can provide up to 40 million, 40 percent of that for retroactive financing. But if they have needs, they can use as much of that as they need for for road activities. Then we can do a new project if they decide that would be useful for whatever amount they decide they need um, to do other recovery and reconstruction efforts. First, they have to do the damage assessment, and then they have to uh, identify specifically how much money they can get from the EU, both from the EPA funds and from the Solidarity funds, because it makes more sense to use grant money. And then we could put on top of that. So it really has to be, the calculations have to be done, but we stand by ready to provide the assistance needed. Interest rates, depending on the loan, uh, and that's the choice of the terms for the government, range from about a third of a percent to two-thirds of a percent, so it is fairly cheap. And again, the, the tenor of the loan will depend on the, the choice of the government, but it's long-term.